A lot of people were initially quite disappointed and underwhelmed by the Cybertruck's released charging specs, but the truth is it's not what it seems. So the Cybertruck actually charges a lot faster than the Model S, the Model X, the Model Y, and the Model 3, and there's a key reason why. In fact, you can charge the Cybertruck's battery in 20 minutes because Tesla actually splits the battery in two. And when V4 superchargers come out, you'll even be able to charge at 350 kilowatt speeds, which theoretically should actually charge faster than 350 kilowatt charging speeds from rival electric cars, such as the Porsche Taycan, the Onyx 6 from Hyundai, and the Kia EV6. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Very interesting thing that Tesla has done with the Cybertruck that no one has really mentioned here. This is what General Motors has in fact been working on with the Silverado electric pickup truck now for a couple of years. And I talked about that in another video. It's a great idea. The Cybertruck charge time is meant to be 20 minutes at 350 kilowatt V4 superchargers. Now, of course, we don't have many of those yet. One was just installed in Australia. There's a few in Europe. There's a couple in America, but not many V4s yet. However, to achieve fast Cybertruck charging on the current infrastructure, Tesla is actually splitting the battery packs, just like phone manufacturers. Tesla, in fact, promises 128 miles of range in 15 minutes on a 250 kilowatt fast charger, as in a version three charger. It seems to me that Chinese phone manufacturers and EV companies gave Tesla, and maybe even General Motors, surprisingly, a smart idea when it comes to how they actually make the battery pack work in the Cybertruck. The Cybertruck is Tesla's first vehicle to run on an 800 volt architecture, but there's not many chargers that can actually charge at the speeds the Cybertruck is capable of charging at. Tesla apparently says they split the Cybertruck's 123 kilowatt hour 4680 battery cell pack capacity in four 200 volt units that a switch sends from running in series to two units in parallel that can charge at 400 volts simultaneously for faster top-ups and backwards compatibility with the existing arc infrastructure. This is just genius. I mean, everyone's saying, hey, come on, look at our amazing 800 volt architecture, but none of them do this. The Tesla's Cybertruck's 800 volt architecture is truly revolutionary. There's no one else splitting the battery packs to make them reverse engineer so they can charge at much higher speeds at existing charging infrastructure. I mean, I cannot believe that no one has mentioned this kind of information in any of the videos that I've seen so far from reviewers or even Tesla about the Cybertruck. So what does this mean? Well, how fast can the Cybertruck actually charge? In Cybertruck's specs, Tesla says it takes 250 kilowatt max because this is the output of its current generation V3 superchargers. However, if you want to charge the Cybertruck at a V4 supercharger, which Tesla officially says it's capable of 350 kilowatt charging, how fast is it? Tesla's head of engineering said in a Cybertruck review by Top Gear, that's at around the 34 minute period I'll put a link in the description. I would put the video in here, but Top Gear, unfortunately, um, will give me a copyright strike. Even if I put in the snippet of the interview, even 10 seconds, they'll copyright strike, so I can't do it. Anyhow, the engineer said, the head engineer for the Cybertruck, it'll take less than 20 minutes to bring it from 15% to 85% at a V4 supercharger that can deliver 350 kilowatt. Now, those charging speeds sound too good to be true. They sound insane. 15 to 85% in that short a period of time for that bigger battery pack, uh, that's amazing. And it's really quick considering the size of the battery and, well, the fact that it's so big. The V4 supercharger station that Tesla is rolling out across Europe, North America, Australia, and China are still housed in V3 cabinets and deliver the same 250 kilowatt output currently. When Tesla has enough fast charging EV models, and Cybertruck units shipped, it will start upgrading the grid infrastructure around its V4 superchargers and their cabinets to their max 350 kilowatt output that takes 20 minutes to charge a Cybertruck. So even today, 
Theoretically, you can't charge your Cybertruck at these speeds, even at V4 charges, but you will be able to in the future. Apart from the Cybertruck, there are other 800 volt EVs on the road from Hyundai, Kia and Porsche, and of course, Chinese EV manufacturers that theoretically can charge at similar speeds, theoretically. So those EVs, I'm sure, those uh, owners of those EVs would love to be able to use a NAX charger with the new V4 superchargers in order to charge their EVs at 350 kilowatt charging speeds because there's very few 350 kilowatt chargers in existence, meaning the 350 kilowatt advertising is kind of false advertising. And that's the key reason why Tesla didn't mention 350 kilowatt charging when they released the charging specs. They said it was 250 because they felt like it was a form of false advertising. Now, the whole concept here of Tesla splitting the battery pack up into different sections in order to enable it to work more efficiently and charge faster, in my opinion, was really a work of genius. I really do think the engineers working at Tesla are just a step ahead in a lot of ways. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.